And we're back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, recently, Chef Roy Yamaguchi was on island for two nights at the Hilton Guam Resort and Spa. I had the opportunity to sit down with him. Here's more. Last week, over the course of two nights, guests were treated to an incredible six-course meal at Roy's restaurant in the Hilton Guam Resort and Spa. The dinner was inspired by Eating House 1849, a restaurant opened in Hawaii by Chef Roy Yamaguchi. Showcase some of the items that we have on the Eating House menu, uh, but at the same time, we're kind of tweaking it a little bit for uh, the dinners here. Working alongside Yamaguchi was Roy's restaurant chef de cuisine, Dylan Saad. It's been a great experience to be able to work with someone who's you know, accomplished so much in his career and rubbing shoulders with him is, is very important for me and it's been a great experience. And speaking of experience, the dinner was definitely a culinary experience. First course was Mama's Pancit Lumpia. We have some uh, baked chicken in there, we have some uh, bihon noodles and uh, we kind of flavor it with oyster sauce, fish sauce. Um, you know, it's pretty straightforward, but yet you know, we have a really nice a dipping sauce that goes with it, uh, made from am choy. Um, so that's kind of the difference, I think, that, that people will be able to taste when they have that dish. Next was a shrimp mango salad. Kind of a Thai, um, kind of a Vietnamese Thai type of uh, dish, where we have some shrimp that's marinated and some fish sauce, ginger garlic, that's going to get grilled. And then that gets put together with some lettuce greens, like frisee and cabbage. The third course was a crab glass noodle. A rice noodle dish uh, with uh, crab and um, ginger and garlic, fried shallots, fried garlic, uh, some chicken stock. And it's kind of very, very simple, uh, but yet it's very tasty. It's, it's almost kind of a peasant dish. Then there was an Aura King salmon. We brought him some salmon from uh, New Zealand, the Aura King, uh, very, very oily. And that gets teamed up with some uh, pork belly that gets nice and crispy, along with some uh, some shallots and some uh, tomatoes, um, and kind of a vinadosh, kind of a dish where you have kind of vinegary, but yet not as marinated. Next was a Hawaiian style locomoco. You have some mushrooms in there, and some Maui onions, and little you know natural sauce that's kind of you know tasty and reduced. And completing the experience was Roy's Malasadas, accompanied by a silky rum sauce. Yamaguchi explains the concept of Eating House 1849. We're going back to the plantation days when people got together, you know, and they, you know, broke out their lunch, you know, and sat down and they talked story. And <clears throat> there could have been a, a, a Chinese man or a Filipino, Portuguese, Japanese, Chinese, and they all got together. And at the end of the day, after eating, you know, lunch and, you know, doing all this stuff for years and years and years, you know, you have what's called kind of a mixed plate. He adds the goal is to emulate those flavors and give it a present day feel. Getting the flavors of those plantation days and kind of modernize it and yet giving that flair to our guests. Chef Saad puts it best. I think, yeah, the, the 1849 concept is, is a great one because it's food that everyone loves to eat and it's stuff that a lot of people grew up on. And, and that's, I think, the most important is because when you go and you take it back to what, well, you know, what speaks to you inside, I think that's when you really enjoy it. That's when it becomes something that you can enjoy, sit with your friends, wine, dine, and, and have a great time. After this quick time out, we have music from Southern High School's in the Nungyef Pagu. You're watching In The Mix. Your community calendar is brought to you by Taco Bell. Whether it's your first meal or your fourth meal, we've got you covered. Taco Bell, live moss.